Hi guys and welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Amin and today I'm doing a driving lesson with Mia. Now Mia has been learning to drive with me for just over a year and we had a little break in between and she's got her test in six weeks, six to eight weeks, yeah. 31st of August, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry about that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so today's lesson we're going to be working on big roundabouts. Now we haven't done a lesson on big roundabouts for a while, so today's no. a bit of a recap for you. So what we'll do is with the first few roundabouts, I will just sort of prompt you as a reminder. Once you get the hang of it, I'll be able to cut down my instructions, and hopefully by the end you'll be doing big roundabouts, nice and easy on your own. Okay. okay now you are new to the roundabouts in this area so some of them will yeah. look a little bit unusual because you mm -hmm. haven't really seen these ones before yeah. okay yeah all right Brilliant. okay Mia whenever you're ready we'll start the engine and then get going to so drive up how you would normally so I do the right thing yeah Good, but should we signal? Yes. Yeah, and looking behind and get going. Here we are. So what we're going to do first is at the roundabout we're going to turn right it's the fourth exit okay. now on approach to this roundabout there are two lanes just at the very top of the roundabout they are quite narrow uh -huh. but there's still two okay. so having that in mind as you enter the roundabout okay yeah we'll just talk you through the first one so check mirrors to the right and then signal right when we pass the third exit we're then gonna use our mirrors mirrors and switch signal okay Okay, now really yeah. slow on approach, tuck into that position, into that corner, Mia, to the right a bit more. Should we go? Yeah. yeah. Signal back on when you get a chance. And count the exits, go round a bit more. Yeah. T tighter turn, tighter. So this is the second. Yeah. Tesco's is the third. So uh, now, as you're going round, check your left mirror, but don't signal. Move outwards, check the mirror, and move down. Now signal. You have to make sure you're past that island before you switch your signal. Okay. And there we are, new speed limit. Uh. <laughs> Very slow. Yeah. All right, let's get to the speed limit nice and quickly. Yep, we're there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got another roundabout coming up now, and at that roundabout we're going to turn left. I want you nicely at 20. Don't don't drive 15, 16. It's too slow. Okay. Go on. Okay, now you see the roundabout design? Mm, Diagram? No. On the left? Yeah. Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very overly sort of shaped roundabout. We're yeah. going to take the first exit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Alright, nice and quick to keep up with the vehicle. Use the accelerator at the ball. Yeah, quick quicker. Good. So as we're turning left, what, sh what should we do on approach? Uh, signal? Yeah, mirror and signal, good. So this is a traffic light controlled roundabout. Okay. I can get into any lane, right? Um, a bit right, clutch down. The left hand tyre, the back tyre would have hit because it's quite narrow there. Okay. Just follow it around slightly wider. Okay, now we can't really be in that right hand lane to make a left turn, can we? No, I know it no. said A316 on both. Yeah, it's because the arrows confused me, but obviously on it makes sense to me on this one. Signal left again. On big roundabouts, they don't really put right arrows. Okay. So they don't want people going around anti-clockwise. Ah, uh, okay. 
So they'll have a straight arrow, but the first one will go left and straight. So I'm just going to follow that. Please just stop there, yeah. I think I've done this one before. Okay. I think. I'm not sure. Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's something But on the floor there, it said 316, but then this one said east and that one said west. Oh, uh, I didn't have time to see that. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Okay, so on the next move off, do use the accelerator. Yeah, and there we are. Nice and quick. Okay, nice and, nice and quickly speeding up on this road because it's now 40. Hold on. And we're going to switch into the right hand lane because we want to take the third exit. So when you get a chance, just signal, even if the gap's not there straight away. Should we just step off the accelerator and let that car through while they're letting you in? No, no, no. Break. Let them pass. Now move over after them. We'll talk about that later, okay? Okay, so we're taking the third exit right. Would you like me to talk you through or are you happy to try this one on your own? Mm. No, you can talk me through. Signal right. Focus on braking. Slow it down a lot more. What gear should we have approached with? Mm, second. Yeah. But now go down to first. Have a look across to the right and also in the roundabout itself where that black car is. Now feet ready. Right foot. Watch that blue van, because we can go with him. Feet ready? Yeah, let's go in, nice and quick. Staying to the right as you enter, a bit quicker. Yeah, change gear and count the exits. So this is one. one. Stay to the right, now this is two. Check the left mirror and outwards. Check the mirror, outwards. Come on, position, out, out, and signal. So your position takes priority over your signal. So as soon as you can see the second exit, we want to spiral outwards. Check the right side and move over early. We're going to come back to that roundabout again in a little while, okay? Oh, when changing lanes on the uh, carriageway, yeah. you could see the grey car was on your right. Yeah. Could you see them in the top mirror? No. We couldn't. So that's why that wasn't a safe gap to take. And because you know you need to move over, you might as well slow down a little bit, let them pass and then move over and speed up again. There's no point of staying level with them mm. when you know you need to move over. It helped when you said the blue van just a second. Yeah. Because they turned in, didn't they? So yeah, so that helped with your, your entry point. Yeah. Okay, now at the traffic lights, we're going to turn right. Okay. So you can see the arrow from here on the floor. Uh, yeah. Go check that right mirror. That signal's a little early because we're not turning into this road here. Okay. Can you see the road? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we'll hold off on the signal. It's okay now. Now focus on. Good. Get that brake a bit smoother now. Brilliant. Anything else? Now we're going on to an uphill gradient. So as soon as you move off, it's accelerate and steady clutch. Okay. But don't release the clutch, okay? Now we're just going to shuffle forward. Let's try that now. Accelerate. Good. A bit more on the accelerator because of the gradient. Yeah, and just go round but, and then stop there. Quickly. Quickly. Stop. Stop. Me up. Don't let that front right corner go over their line, okay? Now, whenever it's safe, we can turn. So when it's safe, it's accelerate and, yeah, turn straight away. Yeah, nice and quick. Well done, but use your right hand to begin that turn to make it easier, as opposed to your left hand coming across over here. I was a bit, I wasn't sure because the bus blocked the... Yeah, no, just before that, there was a, you could see it, it was clear. Yeah, 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 but it's because of the cyclists again. And then this pillar can be a blind spot as well, can't it? So you've just got to sort of move yeah. your body around. Oh, this man, what is he doing? What should we do? Stop. Yep. Alright, take your time with it, use your mirrors. Brilliant. Good, now nice and quickly once you're off. Good, a little bit quicker to keep up and... important to notice the angle of your turn on the roundabout as it's really sharp. Okay. So what should we do on approach to tell everybody where we're going? Signal? Yeah. Right. There is in signal, yeah. Right signal. So behind the van, okay. so go towards the right, and then brake and clutch. So this is a giveaway, not a traffic light controlled roundabout, first gear. 
Have a look on the inside where that light blue one is. See the light blue? Mm. Can we go? Mm. Yeah. Can we go? No. Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're not following the roundabout close, are they? Okay. Stay towards the right. Go a little bit quicker. A bit quicker. So the lights are green. This is the first exit. Yeah. Go round, but not behind the motorbike. Go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. About like that. Clutch down. Stop there. Stop there. When we went round there, you were following it too wide. First gear. Yeah, accelerating back in point. Off you go. Accelerate. Well done. A little bit quicker. A bit quicker. A bit quicker. And. Okay, because it's a big road, you need to accelerate a lot more. Look how fast that blue car yeah. is. Let's get going. Come on. Really put your foot down. Good. I thought we were going round again. So it was a bit. No, I'm staying. So that point there, yeah. the white car is. Yeah. Now move your right foot across. Can we take that? The blue car, what's he doing? Going around. You can see his signal, yeah. After him. Just After this one? Yeah, we can go now when she's leaving. That's it, nice and quick. Really quickly, change gear and count the exits. So when we see two to the right a bit more, go towards the island, check the mirror and move down. Straight away, come on, open up that wheel and signal left. So we go out towards the island. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Speed it up along here. And then with the lorry, change your signal. Change your signal. Okay, why do we want to signal right for that lorry? Uh, to tell him that we're overtaking. Yeah, so turn that signal off now. Because we're having to completely cross over, aren't we? Okay, we're going to pull in and park up on the left. There's a parking space right there. Can you see it? Yeah. Now slow it right down. Braking, clutch down, not too close, not too close. Ooh, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Keep going forward. Check your left mirror. How close are we now? Mm. Yeah, just stop there. Yeah, secure the car. And neutral. Okay. When you know you're parking, when you know you're going to get this close, I need you to slow right down and then come to this distance. And this is exactly what we talked about earlier. Yeah. You're coming into this distance. Before you know it, you will hit the pavement. Okay. At low speeds, you're not going to do any damage, but at high speeds, it can be quite dangerous. So you've got to focus on really slowing it down before you come in. Okay. All right. Let's talk about these roundabouts. So on this last roundabout we just did now, with the right turn where you have to spiral out, did that make sense that time round? Uh, on that one, just there. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. More sense. Yeah. And what about the entry, knowing when to go in? Mm, you're a bit unsure of it. Yeah. Okay. So when you're in, approaching this roundabout, because it's a giveaway roundabout, you need to watch the road ahead first. So the traffic in the roundabout, where are they going? That's the first thing you want to be looking at. Okay. Then as you're getting a bit closer, you want to watch the traffic on your immediate right. But then after you've seen them, look ahead again. And every so often, if there's two, if these two are too busy, look across to the left also. Okay. So your ideal gap would be. If somebody on the roundabout is leaving into your exit, yeah. because then they block off the right, don't they? Yeah. And that's exactly what happened with that blue van earlier. Yeah. Okay. And we could tell that blue van was going to do that because he was coming round and he started on the left and he was spiralling out. Uh, to okay. Exit. okay. So that's what we're looking for, that clue for when they're leaving towards okay. the right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There are other sort of clues to know when someone's going to take the exit. So firstly, when someone's taking the exit, they would signal, right? Mm -hmm. The other thing would be their position would be more on the outskirts. Okay. Yeah? yeah. And lastly, where the driver is looking. Oh. Yeah. And also the position of their tires. But this is a bit more detailed and it's a bit harder to judge this. Yeah. But firstly, look at where they're positioned, which way they're signaling. And then when you get a bit more advanced with this, you can start to look at where the driver is looking and so on. Okay. Yeah. Once you've noticed the driver on the inside of the roundabout and made an assessment of what they're doing, mm -hmm. then watch the immediate right and see how they're affected. 
are they slowing down? If they're slowing down, that would be now your gap to enter. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right, the other roundabout before this, I have to grab the wheel. Yeah. Okay? It's because, I don't know where you thought you were going. I thought we were going round again, but I don't know why. I just okay. Thought, because that was the one that was oval. Wasn't yeah, it? It was, they're all yeah, a bit over. But I didn't, yeah, yeah, I didn't think of that. And I was a bit confused because I was like, where do I go? Because there was kind of... So you see where the motorbike there. was? Yeah. The motorbike was on the far right lane. I think it took me by surprise because it was quite a sharp turn yeah. and I wasn't expecting that. So yeah. I was like, what do I do? Yeah. So before we start, let's just quickly recap that roundabout. So the okay. one where I had to grab the wheel, yeah. you have to go over and you're going to be across sort of two or three lanes. Yeah. Yeah, and that's okay? Yeah. Because initially you said you wanted to sort of be more straight. Yeah, but yeah. You can't be there, no. right? It's just purely because of the angle of that roundabout. Yeah, well, like I said, I think it just took me by surprise because I didn't expect such a sharp turn. Yeah. But. Should we try it again? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go. All right, and then move off whenever you are ready. Yeah, and then look over your shoulder, signal right, and there we are. Nice and easy. <laughs> yeah, I think we coasted a little bit, didn't oh, we? Yeah. That's kind of why... Uh, I wasn't expecting the light to change and then I was like, great. <laughs> They've been uh, green for a long time, didn't they? Alright, so you know what you're doing in the position with this one? Yes. So you're going to go in, round... And then stop, not just too tick. far. Yeah, because yeah. you don't want to cross over the line like closer to there. Oh yeah, because this bit was out, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very slightly closer to there. I don't know, I don't think it was out, it was just too close to them. And sometimes you get like lorries uh, and buses taking that corner. Yeah, there's a big one. Are we around Q? Ah, yeah, Q's over there. You know, this is um, Richmond. No, it's Twickenham, sorry. Oh. Twickenham's down this way. It looks like you because that building. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're uh, slightly off there. <laughs> Traffic lights or the traffic? That's the two options we've got. Mm. And we're crossing both lanes, so we need a nice big gap. Yeah. Traffic lights are red. Really? I oh, know, that's the other side. <laughs> So got red. Get ready. So you can see. 
Obviously, no one's close to the green after her. Yeah. And I want to be in that one. Yeah. So think about, visualize your path. You're simply gonna. You see that red car on the uh, Toyota place? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna be facing. That. Okay. Yeah. And I want to go to the furthest one then. Yeah, so from here, you're literally driving towards the island and then across. Okay. And you'll be across the two because lanes. Because I'm the first person anyway. Aren't yeah, I, so. exactly. Turn a lot more, Mia. Turn a lot more. You still need to take it tighter than that. It's just because the traffic on the left, they're trying to go, go past. straight ahead. Yeah, and any movement from here, we're like this already, so going any further, we're going into... So you just need to take it tighter and then just sit at an angle. And then I'm going there, aren't That's it, yeah. So you should be signalling which way now. Yep. Watch the traffic light in front if you want. That's, that's yours as well. you should have seen that the roundabout was going to be clear yeah which means the bus will now enter because initially the gap was there because the bus was wait was was waiting mm -hmm. and the roundabout was, was moving. yeah but i left it too long didn't we got I? there too late yeah yeah i don't know why i thought he would stop and then I was like, oh. mm -hmm. go a bit quicker here we're gonna go left and as soon as we go left, that roundabout is immediately ahead of you. Okay. Don't go too close to the pavement. Get ready. Are you ready? Can we go? Yes. Yeah, we're going to be in the left-hand lane and go ahead at the roundabout this time. When we're on the carriageway, just put your window up, okay? Okay. So let's go quickly. Now have a look at the roundabout and then the traffic on the right. Now watch the roundabout. Is that a yes or a no, do you think? Is anyone indicating? No. In you go then. Got no reason to stop, do we? Nice and quick. Stay in your lane, Mia. Stay in your lane. And yeah, what do we do if we're leaving now? Right. Yeah. But we can't go anywhere else from there, can we? Ah. Okay. <laughs> so let's speed up quickly. Really focus on speeding up. And you get a chance to put that window up just because we're on the carriage right now. Okay, so we're gonna go to the, some more. 
four different roundabouts. Should, should I have been in that lane then? Yeah. Yeah, your lane was fine. But I shouldn't. I didn't need to indicate. It, it was helpful to make sure, make make people aware that you're definitely leaving. Okay, so on the roundabout now, we're going ahead. It's the second exit. So as we go forward, the left lane does go straight, but I want you to look at the road marking. Stay in your lane, you're not changing. So they're all changing lanes, aren't they? Good. We're staying in that lane, where the car is. That one? Yeah, oh. that's our lane. What gear should you be in? Without looking. Let's go, accelerate. Really accelerate, come on. Quickly. Yeah, and change gear. As we enter the roundabout, move towards the left. Check the mirror. Go into that corner a bit more speed and what do we do now? Indicate. Indicate, yeah. Thank you. Again, it's not a need, it's not a must, but if you've got time, put it on, people know where you're going. Turn that off now. So the black car's driving a bit slower. We don't really need to overtake, but just we want to maintain our distance from them, okay? What gear should you be in? Stop. Yes, please. And then when it comes to slowing down, focus on braking from 40 down to about 20 and then change straight, straight to second gear. Okay. From fourth to second. Yeah, that's fine. But just make sure while you're changing gears, you are still braking. Okay. Because in the last roundabout where the bus was, you, you let go of the brake. all over the place. Yeah, we need to work on that slowing down part as well. Go on, get your speed up. A lot more. So on the next roundabout, we're going to be turning right third exit and it's the same oval shape sharp turn. Okay. You have to drive over the hatch lines when you enter because that's a new lane and then you go diagonally towards the island. Okay? Yeah. Just like what we did now on that one yeah. about yeah, it's the same. They tell you that. It's yeah. literally the same thing. Okay. But you just it, it just looks slightly different. Okay. Some of them are traffic lights, some of them are yeah. different. What do we do for third exit right? Change lanes? Yes, please. Go on. So you can see that diagram. It's a really sharp turn again, isn't it? Yeah. So what do we do approaching a right turn? traffic where you're headed first. Yeah, that's the first important thing there. Yeah, and then the gear change, like you said. But slow it down more. Are you scared of slowing down there on approach? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Check your left mirror, you're very close to that line, can you see it? Yeah. Now check your right mirror, how much space have you got there? A lot. A lot of space. Okay, so you should have slowed down, gone to second, brought the clutch up. We need to work on this engine braking. We're gonna go do that now after this round, okay? So, you see those hatch lines? The white lines near the green? Uh, yeah. You're yeah. going over them. Driving over them with your tires. Come on, green lights. So count the exits. And there's a red light ahead of you, so which lane do we want? Braking and go try to come into that bit slower though. Yeah, okay. I, I held the clutch too long, didn't I? It's just because of the downhill bit as well, yeah. Uh. But whenever you know you're doing a right turn on a traffic light roundabout, mm -hmm. even if you start at green, you're still going to have red once you're in. Okay. And that's to be expected, by the way. Okay. Which way do we okay, signal so now? Left. Yes. What's the traffic light in front or to your left? So what's this one here, Mia? And as soon as it changes, don't wait around, you should be able to go. So keep it as far to the left, just watch this black car because they're trying to change lanes there. Just because of the downhill slope on that one, I think. Mm. But I was in the right position. Yeah, right? position was great. Were you expecting a red light? Um, not mm. really, but I should have, shouldn't I? Because you said they're always 
Yeah, so whenever we're making a right turn, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean we're going to have green all the way through. Yeah. So what happens is with traffic light controlled roundabouts, the traffic on opposite ends goes together. Okay. So the traffic going left, oh, slow down. The traffic going left can enter and exit straight away. Uh -huh. And the traffic going ahead carries on. But it's the traffic turning right from both ends that ends up waiting in the middle. Okay. Which is why. So that, right, that, that light would always be red. Yeah, if, like you've, just, the other if you've just started at green, you're yeah. going to have a red light. But if you're on the end of the green, if we entered on approach and it was green all the way through, then you're more likely to come up to a light that may be green now. Yeah. But as every roundabout's different, you're not used to the timings yet, it's hard to gauge this. Yeah. Okay, so what we're doing now, Yeah. when we get onto that road, I'm going to be helping you just speed up a little bit quicker. And then when we're slowing down for the first one, I'll talk you through it. Okay. But then after that, I want you to try it on your own. It's all about watching what speed you're at and then changing gears. So when we go forward, this island is sticking out. So as you go forward, just come a bit left. So accelerate, the signal should be right. Just keep your position nice and straight. Go a bit quicker. And then what do we do? Turn. Yeah, and change gears. First gear is too slow for this turn, left lane. Yeah, go quickly, come on. Accelerate. Oh, it's green. Sorry, I thought it was Accelerate. Accelerate. Go, go, go. Come on. Oh, left. my goodness. Speed up. <laughs> Speed up a lot more. Oh. And change gears. We'll talk about that in a minute. Speed up a lot more. Come on. Really put your foot down. Change gear. Don't accelerate whilst changing gears, yeah? That's what that noise was. When you get a chance, just close your windows. Like halfway or up for now. Okay, so if we have to stop, we'll slow down for a turn. Now brake. Bring your speed down more, more. Get down to third gear at 30. Get down to third now. Clutch up slowly, but keep your brake on. Keep your brake on. Get the clutch up. Thank you. Now get the brake on. Second gear, keeping the brake on quickly. Clutch up slowly, keeping the brake on lightly. And then clutch back down. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> Better? <laughs> yeah. Change gear. I know it's more to do. There, yeah, but I know what you mean. Okay, but you notice the difference in the control straight away. Yeah, 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 yeah. And plus, as the, with the brake lights on, you've got that warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so make sure you move your right foot across. Yeah, we can move forward if you want. So when you're ready, you're going to focus on really speeding up because it's a 40 row. So let's get going. Yeah, really catch up. We don't want to be the reason why anyone overtakes us. keeping the clutch down aren't you yeah <laughs> well I am and I'm not because it's giving me cramps in my quads but well just make sure you see, you'll see it looks okay it shouldn't be an issue no no it's fine okay so focus on speeding up again yeah and again really quickly on the accelerator otherwise we're lagging behind go for the next gear you can block change to four if you like but don't accelerate whilst Sorry. you're doing it 
That's a bad habit. Go a bit quicker, come on. Next gear. Clutch up. On the next time we slow down, do you want to try slowing down and gearing down on your own? Or would you like me to prompt you? Uh, I can try and do it by myself. Yeah, okay. Make sure you're watching the speed to decide. Okay. Oh, that was really bad. You see that? They all swerved a little bit, didn't they? Yeah. This is why we don't drive close to others. Mm-hmm. Did I stay in fourth for too long because I was at 30 for quite a long time? No, no, no. no? The, the thing is, going into third gear, we're, we're changing it more for the control so that you're able to slow down quicker. Okay. If you're driving at that speed and the traffic lights or the traffic ahead going quite well, you can still stay in fourth up yeah. until 25, even below that. Ah, okay. But lower than 25, the car will struggle in fourth gear. Yeah, okay. So with each gear, there's like an optimum speed that you yeah. want to try and stay within. Okay. We're simply changing it below 30 just because third helps us slow down more. Yeah. Okay. So it's fine to stay in third. Yeah. Fine to stay in third, fine to stay in fourth even. Ready? Yeah, a bit quicker now. We're going to move into the middle lane because of that bus. Check. Nice, yeah. Take down that off though. Yeah. Go really quickly, we're going to move back to the left after the bus, there's no rush. So take your time with it, go into the fourth gear in the meantime. Watch this bus, don't swerve on the right, just hold your position, slow down if you need to, there is a van ahead of us. behind was driving a bit close there okay so you want to make she's over there now but yeah. you should have had the brakes on for a little while so the brakes are just purely there to warn her that hey I am mm. slowing down yeah okay okay we're going straight, right? straight yeah we need to just keep working on this engine brake it's definitely improved from the very beginning that third was third was much nicer. nicer. Yeah, third is nice. It's going back into second. That's the one I want to really nail down. Though. Yeah. Because you'll start to have a much nicer approach on the roundabouts if you're comfortable changing gears down. Okay. Yeah, I think at the roundabout I find it a bit difficult. You're panicking because it's just you have everything, to, isn't it? Yeah. So that's the one I really want you to be able to do quite well. Yeah. So we're still working on going from third down to second, okay? okay. 
So you're going to slow down to about 15, 20 miles per hour and then change gears, okay? No. Not now. No. Just do those lights. So mirrors, signal left. We're going to go left. Now get that speed down, 15 to 20. Good. Stay in the middle of your lane. Is it between 15 and 20? Yeah. Get that clutch out, but keep your brake on. Keep your brake on. Get the clutch out. Out. See that? And then back down when you need it. Okay. Now I know that does feel like lots to do at the moment yeah but that's because you're not used to it okay okay but was that better um yeah i think so yeah going left here yeah, again, going left here Ooh, leaning forward and really tucking into this one tucking take that turn tighter step off the accelerator okay so um how are you feeling about today's drive more confident on roundabouts now yeah. and the braking and changing gears and not using the clutch too much yeah so they're we wanted to work mainly on roundabouts and i feel like you've got a good idea on what you should be doing with them but when we were working on roundabouts we worked on uh engine braking which mm -hmm. kind of was uh, a bit the of a problem yes yeah. yeah so you've got into a bit of a bad habit of coasting because mm. putting the clutch down early means you won't stall right yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we do need to continue with working on engine brake a bit more. Right. But yeah, it's just making sure that your car is slow enough. Because when you're slower, mm. you'll have more time, you'll have more control. And then with that time, you can change gears, you can look around. Because I felt like on some of the roundabouts, you were, you were too fast on approach, which then made it harder for you to look and take that gap. Yeah, maybe. Which is mm. why you panicked with, with the bus scenario. And then the yeah, other one, where yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you know where you said you came into it too fast, where we did that stop at the red light mm. in the middle? Again, it's because you're going and it was faster. Because of the clutch as well. Yeah. So, yeah. so the clutch was having quite an effect on how you were driving with the control. Yeah. But we'll continue to work on that. And roundabouts, I think definitely next lesson you should be a lot better with them. But it was a good it was a good drive today. Okay. Yeah? Cool. So I hope you guys find that video useful and learn some tips on uh, how not to be coasting. <laughs> and with roundabouts, uh, sometimes it can be a real awkward turn. So it's not always a nice wide turn for a right turn yeah. it can be quite a sharp turn where you have to angle and sit in the middle quite weird mm -hmm. yeah hope you find that useful mm -hmm.